Hi guys, welcome back. So this is gonna be um, another video in my series on pumps. Today we are going to kind of break down how to use the Modella pump and style. It's pretty simple, so stay tuned to the end of the video and hopefully we will get you up and running as quickly as possible with your new Modella pump and style breast pump. My name is Cassie Reyes. I am a registered nurse and a board certified lactation consultant and also the founder of People's Lactation. I'm so happy you have found us. Um, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you're notified each week when I post a new video. All right, so we're gonna get into the parts and how to set up the parts for the Medell Pump and Style. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward. By the time we're done, you're gonna be a professional at using your Medella Pump and Style. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Pump and Style out of the carrying kit it comes in so that we can better visualize the pump itself. So these are the basic things that your pump and style is gonna come with. The carrying case could look different depending on which version you order. Um, this pump does have the dual phase suction. So you have the letdown phase and the expression phase, which we're gonna talk about how to change between the two of them. Um, you're gonna see that you get two bottles and when you set it up for pumping, it's gonna look like this. So you have your parts, your flanges, the Medella tends to come, the kit tends to come with a 24 millimeter flange and a 27 millimeter flange um, if you get two. If you get one, it's probably gonna come with the standard 24. Um, it comes off from here, so you can order larger flange sizes as needed. When you take this apart, each side is gonna have five pieces. So you have your bottle, your flange, you're gonna take this yellow piece off, and this little, um, this little white flap also comes off. So in order to wash this, each side is gonna come apart into five pieces and you're going to rinse this in warm soapy water um, after each use. And you do want to sterilize your parts once a day. Everything except for this little white flap are dishwasher safe, so you can put any of the hard plastic pieces into the dishwasher. When you put this back together, the flap inserts into this little half moon looking hole and you want to make sure that this flap is completely flat. So if this is elevated a little bit at all like this and you're pumping, you are going to notice that that side may not have suction. So if you're ever pumping and one side isn't working, this is where you could start your troubleshooting. Make sure this little white flap is laying flat. When you put it back together, you're gonna put this onto this little elbow piece and the bottle goes over the yellow part. It screws right on. And then your flange pops onto the front. Like that, and voila. You're gonna see that there's a little hole in the back here and that's how you're gonna connect your tubing to the pump. So let's get that set up. This is the Medella tubing and the end that has the yellow hard plastic piece is going to plug into the back of the flange and the piece that does not have the hard plastic on it is going to get inserted here onto your pump. This is where the functionality to do one side versus two at the same time comes in. So if this little yellow cap is on, that would be for single-sided pumping. And if you wanna do both sides, you would remove this and connect your other bottle. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up. We have this one already put together. Um, the kits do come with some little caps for your bottles. Screw this on, and again, hard plastic piece goes into the hole in the back, and we're gonna connect 
the tube for the dual-sided pumping. All right, let me plug this in and I will walk you through some of the functionality. The power adapter goes right here in this hole on the front. Um, and on the Medela pump and style, you have your letdown button here and you have a single knob that controls the speed and the suction with which you're gonna pump. When you start out, you wanna start out in the letdown phase and this pump automatically starts out in the letdown phase. So to turn the pump on, you wanna turn it to probably to the minimum with this knob and you're gonna start to hear it do the quick initial sucks of the letdown phase. I'm gonna turn that up a little. So you can play around with the suction on this and find what feels best to you. It is a little bit of a noisy pump. So you can hear that this pump has now automatically switched into the expression phase, which is a little bit longer and stronger pulls. Um, if you feel like that two minutes is too long for you and you notice that your milk lets down sooner, you can always hit the yellow button here to, to have the pump kick over into the expression phase. Um, another thing that you can do is if you notice that the milk flow starts to slow down into pumping, sometimes around like seven or eight minutes, you might notice that the the flow starts to slow down, you can always hit this button again. And that will initiate another letdown phase. Um, and then go ahead and once the milk starts to flow faster, you can hit that button again. When you're in the expression phase, you can adjust the strength and suction using this knob. It does get pretty strong and it does get pretty noisy, so only adjust this to your comfort. You don't want to cause pain while you're pumping. Um, so if you have the right flange sizes and pumping is hurting, turn down the suction. For sterilizing your pump parts, you want to sterilize once a day. Like I said, you can throw most of this in the dishwasher or use a bottle sterilizer. Um, and Medela also makes these microwave steam bags. As far as sterilizing your parts, you want to sterilize once a day. Medela um, does make these micro steam bags, so you can always um, throw the parts into one of these bags with a little bit of water and throw it in the microwave. The bags are good for 20 uses each, so that's something to consider. And some Medela pumps also come with a little cooler and a bottle holder, so that can be super convenient for pumping on the go. You can just um, put it in here for up to four hours and you're good to go. So that's the basics and how to use your Medela pump and style. If you have questions, please leave me comments down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible with a helpful answer. I also have a video here that you can check out all about exclusive pumping. Even if you're not an exclusive pumper, uh, there are some good hacks and tips in there for pumping and increasing your milk supply. So check it out. All right, that's it. Thanks for stopping by. I am so happy to bring you these videos each week. So if you wanna join our community and get updates on when we post a new video, subscribe down below, hit the bell. Would love it too if you would share these videos with other families that you think could benefit from the information. And I can't wait to see you again next week. Thanks for stopping by. Bye guys.